I'm sick in my stomach out of uh, anxiety for going for this uh, project. I think it's that masculine energy. <laughs> Hello, uh, freak uh, bitches. Focus, Napo. Let's go. Today is the first day of my uh, Joe Rogan lifestyle 30 day challenge. I think it's gonna be 30 days, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna start uh, the first Jiu Jitsu class today. In this uh, month, I will be doing uh, Jiu Jitsu, stand up comedy. I will also do some uh, podcasting and I will do DMT, maybe. <laughs> like the complete opposite guy uh, of Joe Rogan uh, he would probably he probably can't even watch me for more than 10 seconds because I have long hair and I'm blonde uh, wait till you see uh, a paint tree that I have of myself uh, downstairs and he would just pull his hair out if he had hair uh, if he saw me he would pull my hair out and he would be very good at it because he's strong and I think this is a masculine part of me that I will be meeting with and I'm scared of it. The active go get it part uh, that I know I have. But it's been, you know, some years now of uh, a lot of meditation, which also requires uh, masculine, uh, that, uh, that drive, which all people have, you know, all women have also that a part, a part of that masculine drive, of course. But the point is, while I have uh, developed a lot of clarity and inner peace and focus, uh, I'm still passive and I don't like that. I've become passive, I've become comfortable doing nothing and having nothing going on. I don't like appointments being somewhere at some time, uh, generally speaking, uh, not always the case, uh, but I don't uh, want to do anything, really. I, I want to meditate and I, I want to work out if I need it in my body. Not so much uh, going out there uh, in the in the public with social pressure. That's why stand-up comedy will be perfect. I'm sick in my stomach out of uh, anxiety for going for this uh, project. Uh, and I think it's that I think it's that masculine energy that that you feel when you're uh, watching and listening to a Joe Rogan episode. Um, and with those, with his friends who are also doing fighting and stand-up comedy, having locker room talks. And I look forward to that, by the way, locker room talk uh, when doing uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. In fact, today will be my first day. And uh, I forgot to bring the shorts to the weightlifting. I'm doing weightlifting right before the BJJ. Uh, so I'm doing squats in my Gracie G that I have from uh, Santa Barbara in California. I went there for six months. I'm out of shape when it comes to uh, doing uh, things that are outside of my comfort zone, especially in a socially pressured way like I'm doing now, posting this in front of people. And uh, the Joe Rogan lifestyle also involves a lot of social pressure through stand-up comedy. It's all about going outside of one's comfort zone. So I think I have a great reason to be nervous um, but that's the excitement of it too there's something beautiful about it at Frontline Academy in Oslo and uh, feeling uh, ready, yeah, let's go. Just got out of my first Jiu-Jitsu class uh, today. This one was uh, a little awkward uh, socially at first because uh, the first guy I rolled with, he didn't smile once, uh, didn't joke once. Um, not that he has to, it was just different uh, for me. And then uh, I just got my ass kicked. Uh, of course, uh, practicing with uh, older, more experienced uh, people. Yeah, but it feels good to get back into the game, 
it's fun to talk to people in the locker room. And what I like about it is that this is also, you know, a lot of uh, people who are interested in self development and actualization. So they, they're the, you know, the audiobook people, uh, people listening to Joe and Sam Harris and doing meditation and interesting as well. So it's fun talking to the people in the locker room. Uh, still a little, I feel awkward about it. I feel stupid during the session because I have lost so much of the techniques. I'm like my brain is not following anything. I have a massive ADD. Even though I'm doing meditation, I'm not concentrated on what people, on the, the fact of the matter. I still zone out a lot when they're talking about technical ways of uh, passing a guard and breaking a guard. So it's still out of the comfort zone and it will be out of the comfort zone on uh, next session as well. So I'm not comfortable yet, but it's okay. One down.